I'm here to insist that we are not as divided as we seem. President! Hillary for president! Hillary for president! The Democrats try to divide by race, by economic basis, by gender. There's 258 or 253 black men killed by police officers. Out of 30 million black people in this country, there was 230 killed last year. We're talking about a minute number, but if they want to blow it up and they want to put a magnifying glass on it, because they want to divide people. The only way they can divide people is if they keep them at war with each other. It's the oldest game in the book. I think that America is divided, um, but I think that it has always been divided and people who were privileged enough to not experience the negative impacts of the divide never knew that it was. But in 2016, we're forcing people to recognize that we are in fact divided. Every day in this country, black people are treated as less, you know? That is what's divisive, not me sitting here and telling you black lives matter and we need to be equal. General George, uh, pardon me. I mean, unless we make it stand, and unless we all stick together, the white, black, Mexican, Hispanic, we're not going to have a country. Eventually, the, the, the trouble's going to come here, and it's already here. It just hasn't flared up yet. I think Trump contributes to that division. It's hard to bring the country together when you're threatening to remove large segments of the population, when, when you're saying, you know, people aren't welcome when you use language which is sexist and racist and hateful. I'll tell you what divided the nation, Obama. Obama must smoke crack. He's divided the country. How can he say it's united? You're all he does is tell us we got white privilege. Where is it? I was poorer than him when I was raised. That the idea that America has always been a melting pot has never actually been true. So I would say that what's happening now is I think a lot of people have woken up and realized where those divisions come from and that what we're seeing right now is the result of 500 years of violence. I'm part Mexican. You know, I, I don't have a problem with immigration, but when it's done legally, and unfortunately nowadays, that makes you racist. It doesn't mean any of that. Your racism isn't really racism. You're not mad at that race because of their race. You're mad because of the things that are occurring within their race. The liberals think they have all the right answers, the conservatives think they have all the right answers, and they're just not going to sit down together and talk. The biggest division is the fact that everybody thinks they're right, and none of you are right. 